Lessons from the Life of Nathan Van Etten by Pete Bowers and Charles Berman. Lesson 9. Consumerism Consumes Nathan Van Etten There are few meals as early as breakfast, fewer still, so directly before lunch. One of the best ways of acquiring nutritional energy as fuel throughout the day is by eating, and almost nothing is as frequently eaten as food. People have been eating for, well, just about as long as there has been food. To eat. The value of food is determined in part by its availability and the effort that goes into gathering and preparing it. One person who has no conception of this is Nathan Van Etten. Morning, voice! Have some waffles! Ego, of course! I can't, Nathan. I don't have a body. I know that! That's why I offered! Sucks to be you who can't have any of my waffles, guy! Why, yes. Yes, it does, Nathan. Ha! Really pulled one over on you there! Yes, Nathan. I haven't seen that coming any of the last ten times. But Nathan, why are you eating so quickly? Don't you want to savor the delicate flavors of your breakfast? There's no time! I need to finish my syrup and the waffles under it! According to the label on this bottle of Ann B. Davis Tall Oak Maple Syrup, Ann B. Davis Tall Oak brand, of course, the last day is tomorrow! You're using nearly expired syrup, Nathan? No, invisible talking man! Listen to yourself! When is maple syrup ever in the house long enough to expire? It's the last day of the contest! What contest would that be, Nathan? The Ann B. Davis Tall Oak Maple Syrup Contest! God, listen when I talk! The most enthusiastic syrup fan gets a trip to Vermont! To the Ann B. Davis Tall Oak Maple Syrup Factory! And a six-month supply of Ann B. Davis Tall Oak Maple Syrup! And with the way I go through maple syrup, that's like 732 cases. If I did the math right, it'll have to wait until next year to see if it's a leap year. Mom! Dad! You've got to help me. My need is dire, like episodes two through five of Mork and Mindy. Why, Nathaniel, a glorious morning to you. Your mother and I were just enjoying some breakfast, prepared authentically in the style of the Uzbek Pashas. Care for some? The blowfish side won't be good for much longer. Stop trying to tempt me away from my ego, Dad! I need your help! Of course, Nathaniel. What can I do to enrich the life of my son today? Time is wasting away like a triffid without fresh people! I have less than 24 hours, namely 23, to prove myself what I know myself to be, the world's most enthusiastic customer of Ann B. Davis Tall Oak Maple Syrup. I need you to do the project for me. Why, Nathaniel, I'm afraid I'm completely unqualified. This contest is for people enthusiastic about this brand of maple syrup. You know I'm nothing of the kind. But that's insane! When you get older, my son, You'll find that getting others to do your work for you- God, I will have to prove my need for maple syrup by demonstrating my cruel father's indifference to Ann B. Davis. (laughs) Ha! Why, Nathaniel, this contest is merely a marketing tool designed to convince foolish, impressionable people that by purchasing excessive amounts of the company's product and providing it with free advertising, that they increase their minute chances of winning a prize that costs the company next to nothing. Purchasing excessive amounts? Free advertising? Great idea! Thanks, Dad! I like the way you think! Anytime, Nathaniel. Usually, nothing is as unwanted as trash. But, as the saying might well go, one pancake house's trash is another man's ticket to Vermont. We catch up with Nathan in a dumpster, desperately pulling out every syrup bottle at hand. Finally, head voice! Give me a hand with this, will ya? I might, Nathan. But I don't have hands. Well, isn't that just perfect? Why didn't you tell me that before? Nathan, I ex... (sighs) What are you doing in the dumpster, Nathan? Rooting for bottles, of course. If this doesn't prove my dedication, I don't know what will. I can't believe the supermarket wouldn't accept a cut of my future prize winnings as payment. Look, I've already found four bottles. When my photographic friend Terry comes, everything will be in place. 
your photographic friend? Yeah, it means she takes photographics, which is what photo is short for. And graphics, don't you know anything? It would seem not, Nathan. Hey, Nathan. Hey, Terry! Have you ever seen this much trash? Uh, no. I've never looked for this much trash. What are we doing here? Going through the garbage, obviously. I thought photographics were supposed to be observant. Okay, Nathan, let's try this again. Why are we going through the garbage? Oh! I was wondering why you didn't ask. I'm finding Ann B. Davis tall oak syrup bottles for my soon-to-be-winning contest entry for their most enthusiastic fan. It's a life-size Ann B. Davis tall oak, but made of maple syrup bottles instead of oak. And here's the fifth bottle. We're getting closer. And I'm here... Yes, you are. Okay, Nathan. See you later. No, wait! My camera button pushing, friend! I need you to document this for posterity! Great. Now, why didn't you ask me to bring a camera? Just use your cell phone. You're good enough at this that you don't need a camera to make it look good, right? I'm a professional, Nathan. Great! Then I'm sure to win with a professional picture. You know the professional part means I get paid for this, right? This all fits perfectly into my plan! When I win this contest, you, yes, you, my friend, will be the lucky owner of your very own one, I repeat, one, whole, I repeat, whole, bottle of Ann B. Davis Tall Oak Maple Syrup. Yeah! How many do you think you're winning? 732, or 735, depending if it's a leap here. Now help me root through this garbage. That's your picture, Nathan. I'm out of here. Wait, picture taking friend! Hey! That wasn't the photo I needed. Come back! Please! Pretty please! Okay, a bottle and a half! Fine, but if this doesn't win, see how you like not getting your cut! And as time marches inexorably towards the syrup contest deadline, we leave Nathan sitting alone in a dumpster full of garbage. Wondering what exactly to do with his five empty, stained syrup bottles. Hey, I can still decorate my room with this tree statue! What a terrible idea, Nathan. And hoping against hope that he wins the contest and avoids having to pay for syrup for six months. Oh, and I don't have to pay anyway. My dad buys that. I just want to feel like a winner! (sighs) Okay, Nathan. Have you learned anything from this? Of course! I learned that you should never offer your friends fair compensation for their work. They'll just leave anyway and jeopardize your chance at winning 751 cases of sweet, delicious, life-affirming syrup! Compensation is how we are rewarded when we perform services for another. Perhaps you will find it rewarding next time when we bring you another lesson from the life of Nathan Van Etten.